Welcome back. Uh, we're in lab two now. This week we do our first spherical refinement test. Uh, last week we reviewed retinoscopy and we also did an introduction to your 2040 blur. Uh, this is the next sequence in the distance refraction. Um, and this is the first time that you'll actually begin to refine the patient's spherical um, prescription. There's two methods to do this. One is the red-green or the bichrome is what it's called. And the other one is the MSBVA or monocular subjective to best visual acuity. Um, we're going to show you both uh, and then we'll give you workarounds uh, for each of them. The first one we'll do is the uh, bichrome or the red-green. On this particular test, we're going to use the red-green eye chart again, but we're going to use a 2080 line of letters. So we'll go ahead and put that up there. All right. So you have your 2080 line of letters on the red-green chart. You're coming into this test from your 2040 blur. So here we've already 24 our, blurred our patient. Uh, she's plus two in the right eye, plus two in the left eye. Uh, this test is done monocularly, so you'll notice the left eye is occluded. The right eye is open. We do this in total room darkness. So once you have your patient uh, set up, they're 2040 blurred, the lights will go back off again, and we will begin the test. During this test sequence, we will ask our patient which side of the chart appears more distinct and more clear, the red or the green. As you progress through, you're looking for that, that reversal from the red being the, the darker, more distinct, to the green being the darker, more distinct. Um, so as we progress through, I'll give you the final endpoints. So we'll turn the lights off now. And is it too dark? We're good. Okay. Now, Phoebe, as you're looking over there, do you see a red and green, uh, blurry red and green chart? Yes. Okay. Which side appears slightly more distinct and a little bit more clear, the red or the green? The red. Good. And then we're going to add minus one click at a time. How about here? The red. Fantastic. How about here? Red. Excellent. And here? Red. Wonderful. And here? Red. Good. And here? Red. Perfect. How about now? Uh, equal. Good. And how about now? Green. Great. Now we're going to switch eyes. We got her to go from red to green. Over here, same thing as before, Phoebes. I want you to tell me which side is slightly more distinct, the red or the green? The red. And here? Red. 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 Uh, equal? Green. Great. Very good. And you can sit back just for a second, Phoebe. What we have is, um, so, on, with Phoebe this time through, we found that she went from red to equal to green. Now on that, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to record the equal and we'll take the visual acuities through the equal. So once we've completed this test, we'll go ahead, we'll close one eye again, we'll open it back up, and we'll check her visual acuities. And then we'll do the same thing for the left eye. Okay? If she has two greens, so if she goes red, red, green, green, or red, red, equal, equal, green, then you'll take the second equal, and that'll be the one that you record and that you check the visual acuity through, but you will leave the green lens in the foreopter. If you have three or more equals, you need to repeat the test. So to recap, if you have one equal and then a green, the one equal is the one that you record. It's the one that you take the visual acuities through and you leave the green lens in the foreopter. If you have two equals, you record and take visual acuities through the second equal, leave the green in the foreopter. If you have three or more equals, you repeat the test to increase the patient's sensitivity to it. Okay? Now, our second method I'm going to reset her to our 2040 blur, which was plus two in each eye. Okay. Our second test that we will do is the MSBVA, the monocular subjective to best visual acuity. On this particular test, we are going to use the 20, 2020 isolated line of letters. So with the 2020 isolated line of letters, 
Um, you're going to simply ask your patient to tell you the very first time they can make out one or two letters on that line of letters. Okay? So again, we begin with the 2040 blur. And I'm going to have Phoebe, I'm going to ask Phoebe, can you see any of those letters on that eye chart? No. Okay. So we're verifying that she's not seeing any of the letters to begin with. Now, Phoebe, I want you to tell me the very first time you could see one or two letters on that eye chart. Here we go. You want to change the lens at a rate of about one every second to 1.5 seconds. Here. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me, Phoebe, are the lot, are the letters out there more clear with number one or number two? One. Okay. And then how about number one or number two? Uh, one. Good. And then how about number one or number two? Number one. Okay. Now, does this lens right here make them smaller and darker or just more clear? Clear. Good. Perfect. So on that, from the very first time that Phoebe said that she could make out one or two letters on that chart, from that point forward, you can give them up to three quarters of a diopter more minus. The other end point is if they select less minus. Okay, so again, very important, three quarters of a diopter more minus max. Verify that you haven't over minus the patient by simply asking them at the end, are the letters smaller and darker or just more clear? If they are smaller and darker, you've over minus your patient and you'll need to add a quarter diopter of plus back in to that prescription. Now let's do her left eye. On this eye, Phoebe, can you make any of those letters out over there on that chart? No. Okay. Let me know when you can see one or two of them. Good. Which ones could you make out? T and Z. Okay. So here we only have two letters. I want you to tell me, Phoebe, are those letters more clear and easier to read with one or two? One. And one here or two? One. And finally, one up here or two? One. That makes them a little bit more clear? Yes. Are they smaller and darker or just more clear? Clear. Excellent. That would bring you to the end point for her MSBVA. And on the end of the MSBVA, we are at my, uh, plus a quarter OD, plus a quarter OS. You would record that and then you would write down, you would take visual acuities through that measure as well. Those are both methods to get a spherical refinement coming out of your retinoscopy and your first 2040 blur. Uh, what we'll do now is I'm going to give you the entire sequence up to this point from retinoscopy uh, through the uh, MSBVA or red-green. So we're going to reset.